Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. This is my sister, Sina. Hello. Today in London, it is 27 degrees. It is bank holiday Monday. We are dressed for summer, hot girl summer. Started wearing less and going out more. Oh yeah, baby. Glasses of champagne out on the dance floor. I feel like you can't see us because we're in the sun. Hold on. No, we can't see you, but you can see us. No, look, I feel like they can't see us. I feel like they can see us, but we can't see them. <laughs> Why does this feel like an episode of Friends, guys? Let's go this way because if we go through that way. to Harry's um, in this is the one behind Suffrages on James Street. Cute little day. I'm scared of pigeons. So am I. But I still want to sit outside. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I really, really need to get over this pigeon thing. You know what? The amount of places, like when I go on holiday, I'm just fearful to, to sit outside or go to restaurants just based on the fact that I'm scared of pigeons. Yeah, I'm the same. Like, I remember in Cannes. In Cannes, I got over my fear a little bit, but then it's come back and it's not good. I'm scared. I just find it. I did not get cringe when it, I feel like it's touched me. Yeah, don't worry. They're not near us now. They're like over like there. Like, it's there. So we're kind of freaking out, kind of not. I also feel like I'm matching with the furniture with this outfit right now. So we have some burrata with cherry tomatoes, our fave, some mushroom and parmesan and truffle pizza. Ooh, and look at this, it's like some cheesy truffle pasta. Oh my God. So I feel like we're gonna be very, very stuffed and very cheesed up. Literally every single dish oh my God, has cheese. <laughs> this is a lactose intolerant person's nightmare, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the perfect beach bag for summer and that's not it <laughs> guys if we weren't wearing masks this would literally be like my normal everyday vlog really before that, um, Gucci bucket hat did you see the pink one no i didn't see look, look, look. i'm not gonna lie sign up would look like an absolute I can get away with bucket hats, maybe, like on a good head day. Even when I go up the escalator, es escalator, 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 I always feel like people can see up my skirt, which That's I know because they, they can. can. <laughs> Genius. I love the men's floor, it always smells so good. So. Uh, we just went into the Christian Le Vuitton and we just went into Le Vuitton and basically oh, got oh, <laughs> we got Seoul a present. Um, I just feel like Seoul works so hard and never ever treats herself as much as we do. Just has no hand sanitizer. Don't touch it then, you're just touching a like, million people's hands. Um, Oh, she found some now. Don't, don't worry, people. Should I buy a contour stick? Or you oh my god, I need a Huda Beauty contour. Thank you, thank god you said that <laughs> before we leave. Yeah, so basically, what was I saying? So I was just chatting with Shai. Oh yeah, Sol never treats herself to anything, so I got her a pair of Louboutins. Love you, Sol. Aww. Um, so cute. It's from both of us. <laughs> you little, you little Beyonce. Yeah, I was here yeah, in the making of it. <laughs> in the making. <laughs> Uh, it's so sweet because it. shout out to Yoan who works there. He always sorts us out and helps us out with the best service for years now. So thank you, Yoan, if you're watching this. Also, I don't know if you guys have tried the Paula's Choice BHA exfoliant, but it is so good. Really? Yeah, this isn't it. This is like something else. This is <laughs> So I thought I would show you guys what we use as doctors to take bloods. So first things first, I like to think of things in the order that we do it. So first we would need a pair of gloves. 
then I would most likely feel the area on the skin that I'm going to take buds from. Once I've found the vein, I will wipe it. So here is a wipe. Then I would need a needle. This is a butterfly needle and attached to the end of it is a vacuate, which is a blood collection set all together. And we put the needle into the vein and then we connect this bottle to the end of the vacutainer and it collects the blood. Another cool fact that a lot of people don't know is how much blood goes into each vacutainer. So for the yellow, you can pretty much get away with about this much blood. Um, so you don't need to fill up the whole thing. Obviously it's better to have more blood um, just because of the proportions of what we have in the base of our bottles as well as having more sample in case we need to send different bits of blood off to different labs for different processing. And then the purple you can get to like, I would say, about here. Damn it, I forgot tourniquet. So I look like an idiot in front of my vlog. <laughs> Guys, you also need a tourniquet, and this is to tie around the wrist. So I just got home from work, hence still the work attire. I'm just gonna change out of it in a sec, but I thought I would show you, I went to Waitrose quickly and did a quick shop for healthy foods because I'm trying to be healthy, um, and A for effort and for trying. So I got some salad stuff, so I got some rocket, some cherry tomatoes and lemon and then I got Linda McCartney's vegetarian sausages because I've heard that these are so good and I love vegetarian sausages, I feel like they taste really good, they're, like, I even prefer them to meat sausages because I remember once hearing a stat that there's so much um, fat in a sausage that technically you're like recommended amount of sausage is like one a fortnight or something so it always scared me obviously i don't know that if that's 100 percent a true fact guys don't quote me on that please but yeah i've always preferred vegetarian sausages and i've heard from vegetarians as well that this is their favorite one so i want to try this out and then i got a tomato and thyme soup just for like you know when you're in a soup mood chickpea um, because I make a really good chickpea and tuna salad that I chickpea tuna avocado salad that I learnt the recipe off of out of one of the girls from work, Frankie. And then guacamole because you can never go wrong with some guacamole. Artichokes. I was in a random mood. I don't know why I picked up artichokes. I never pick up artichokes, but it is what it is. And lastly, some prawns. These cooked king prawns are just so easy. Like literally, I just open them and have some. Um, anyway, and then. My mom has just made some salad rosé, so I'm just going to have this now with some prawns. Um, I'm going to go get changed first because obviously I feel gross in my work clothes. But yeah, that's what I'm up to this evening. I'm going to eat some food and then do some work and then go gym. I've come on a date with Zaina. Oh my god, I look cool. So do I, this lighting isn't the one. We've come to Greenberry, Primrose Hill. My um, face up. Some guys, I literally just got so freaked out. Some guys drove past us in a Mercedes and thought it was funny to squirt water guns on us. And that is like actually not okay. Because yeah, it was, like, scary. it's really scary because it went all over my face and it into my, my eye. It went onto your arm, but like yeah. for me, it went on my face and, and into my nice. eye. So I got scared because I was like, I don't actually know what is inside this water gun. Um, obviously, I'm fine now, thank God. But still freaky anyway i'm really hungry now i've been intermittent fasting today so i need to kind of eat soon so that i don't break my fast for tomorrow um but the food here is really good i've only been here for like breakfast this is my first time it's like yeah. first time we're in greenberry and primrose hill we wanted to i'm glad we didn't go oka because i wasn't really too in the mood for sushi i was just having it because really? i like primrose hill. so we ordered i all got the crab linguine sina got what did you end up getting in the end the fish the fish it gave us some but she was telling me um what were you saying about a meme yeah there's this meme where there's a guy walking out um the airport with two suitcases like uh, a pole doll attached to them and then the girl's bag on him and then all of a sudden the girl walks out behind him with just her phone <laughs> <laughs> what made you think of that i don't know because i just saw the same thing like this guy oh. now he was holding all these waitress bags oh. and the girl was just there with her phone that's so cute that's a true gentleman there they like to eat. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> but you know, um, so I, I can't wait. My exams finish on um, 
first day of the God. And um, I just want to go and get my eyebrows done. You guys, I have killed myself to grow my eyebrows like this. They haven't even grown that no, much, but they've gone a bit thicker, which is cool. They yeah, nice. but I, I, my eyelashes are dead. I'm not doing them again. I think it's a waste of 85 pounds. It looks like this after a week and a half. Actually, yeah. today is 12 days. But still, you, you lost all of them in the first week. Yeah. It was but yeah, I just need to, and I want to just rest. I haven't slept properly for like two days. Yesterday I had an exam, so I haven't slept properly the night before. And last night I kept dreaming about my results. Like, so yeah, I, was I know what you mean. You have no rest. Yeah. So I had no rest. And um, yeah, so I think after I'm going to go for a nice facial because after your exams, you definitely need it because you're so stressed that your skin breaks out. Do your skin break out? Yeah, defo. My skin nuts. broke out. If you watch my vlogs, you'll see me moan about my skin. Yeah, my skin's broken out. I'm but so hungry. I'm starving. So this is our food. <laughs> Sorry, this one is so small. But she's got me set on machine as well. Tana, that's a good portion. <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks so yummy. Listen, I didn't know that corns come this small. Look. Yeah. Guys, Sina just finished and um, passed her med school exams. Where are you, Signs? Oh my god, I've cried so much. Nietzsche, Sebi was crying more than me. I cried so much. Um, Sebi was literally, was like, <laughs> yeah, geez. I'm so happy you're doing a theory, you're talking about exams anymore. I was like, what I was bitch. joking, I was crying because I was really proud. I'm very I proud of you, Sina. You know what? I don't know. I'm just so. So many of you I'm might shocked. ask what kind of doctor Sina is. Actually, some of you ask what doctors all of us are. Sina's oh my god, there's a big spider there. Sina's a medic, I'm a medic, and Sol's a dentist. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we're now going, because she literally passed an hour ago, we're going to get a midis brunch with the whole family, my mum, my dad, so me and Sol took the day off work because we knew, so Sina's exam was like they instantly tell her that she's passed, so we all took the day off because we just knew she would pass and we wanted to go out and celebrate, so first I thought stop, I would have cried when the guy was talking to me, I was like, I just realised in all my vlogs I'm going to minis, but it's because I like the food the most, you want to go minis right, there's no else you want to go. Mm, I don't mind if you go wherever. What do you fancy? I don't Today mind. is your day, let's just go. Okay. Let's go to that union. Daddy really wants to try midis, so I said let's go midis. Also, I did like the most summery, done the most summery makeup. Ooh la la, too much girl shit, the M shot. Too much girl shit. I like this shirt. I like your little glasses. You're looking very handsome. Sun is shining. You're a proud dad today. Ready. So I thought I'd show you what I got from Brandy Melville because why not? Um, I literally spent like 170 quid in there. Um, and that is so bloody much for a shop where all the items are like 10, 15 pounds and they're so plain and they just look so cute when you're in there and you come home and you're kind of like, this was really plain. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna try it on for you and just tell me what you think. So let's go one by one. Um, 
the first thing was oh my god i absolutely love this by the way some of the stuff i've already worn um so don't kill me but the first one was this like ribbed cardigan with it's like cropped with like buttons down the front and i just wore it and like did like the first like the middle two buttons up and i wore it with did i wear it with these ones no i wore it with I wore it with these shorts. Um, I got these like nude, like tracksuit style shorts. So let me try these on first for you. How cute is this? I love it. It's very cute, just casual at home vibes. I would wear this out though. Like wear like some jewelry and just like spice it up a bit. You can wear like denim jeans or whatever. But these shorts are like super like casual. You can wear it at home or you can wear it out. I don't know. Next I got this top. This one is £12 and it's just like a plain little vest. I just feel like I need a few like plain cropped vests. Let me try this on. Obviously, don't be a freshie like me and wear it with a normal bra. Like you will need a racer bra so it looks a bit more like this. But I just love like tight little vests like this. I think if you have um, a bit more curve here then vests like this kind of sit nice when they're a bit tighter because then they're not baggy at the bottom um and they fit you nicely if you get it loose then you end up having no waist because they're baggy at the bottom does that make sense anyway this is just another little super cute i'd wear this with white yeezys some gold jewels maybe some clips in my hair just casual vibes next up i got this green kind of ribbed like cute jumpery style fabric it was 18 pounds which i think is a bit extortionate for a plain little top but also like you can't find nice quality like this uh, elsewhere which is why i justify buying it i just like the color i feel like this with a tan and like one of those little like seashell necklaces me on holiday beachy waves bleh, beachy waves is just a vibe so um yeah can you see the material this is the material then this is like a similar one but it's in like this really pale pink i don't know if you can tell the color can you tell more and further out i don't know but i just love this one and then i just think like what do i picture i think like with like tiny little denim shorts maybe this would look so cute or even jogging bottoms speaking of um I got a new pair of grey jogging bottoms because Sina has milked my old Topshop ones. Um, but this waist actually looks a bit big. I don't know, I'll have to see. Let me try it on for you guys. And um, I also have found in here a grey little bralette top. This one is £10. This is just, again, another little basic, so I'll wear these two together. So, oh, actually, the jogging bottoms don't fit that bad, to be honest. Um, by the way, all of Brandy Mel Melville is one size, which I know a lot of people have like complained about and stuff because it's not really good because one size doesn't fit all. Um, but yeah, so far this stuff has been fitting me okay, but obviously if you're slimmer than me, it'll be loose fit. If you're um, thicker than me, oh girl, it will be a bit tighter, um, but like, might hug you the right way. I think you just have to try it on. They have changing rooms in store also again have some more swag than me and don't wear this with this bra like wear it with a strapless bra do yourself a favor make it look swaggier this would look so good with a little body chain i need to find one i want like some gold body chains to wear around my waist anyone knows where i can get some from please hit me up in the messages in the comments down below um and then i think i have one last thing to show you Oh, two, I have two last things to show you. One of them is a clip set. I've obviously taken two off, so there's only two left on the hair. Um, I think the other one was like another type of like little like zebra print or something. Like just how cute is that? Do you know what I mean? Very adorable. Um, just when I want my hair out of my face. Not like that. And then the last thing I have to show you is another pair of cream shorts. I know what you're thinking. I swear you just showed us this. Um, I thought I picked up a grey pair and and then I thought, oh, this is a different, like this is like a little ribbed one. So let me get this in nude. Don't say I picked up a nude jogging style and also a nude like ribbed style. You can't even tell the difference on the camera. Can you? Yeah, you can kind of tell the difference. Um, so this is going to look basically the same as the other one. So I'm not going to bother trying that on. 
Um, so that's everything from Brandy. And then Pretty Little Thing sent me some stuff, which I have to shoot content for for Instagram, so I won't try them on now. Um, just because that's long. I will just let you guys check out on my Instagram, self-promo, Persian Bunny, don't forget to follow. But um, first one is these like ribbed um, trousers. They're so cute. They're a bit long on me. Either I need to wear them with super high heels or I need to cut them a bit, which is what I think I'm gonna do. But they have this slit down the front and the middle and I just think they're really cool. They are this ribbed material. Um, super stretchy, nice colour for summer, easy to match with anything, so I love it. And I got like, this is such a like a little vacation piece. It's like this white like midi, no, midaxi I think it's called, where it's like not maxi and not midi. Skirt, it's called the white woven tied tiered panel midi skirt. And I just think this is so adorable, like you can literally wear this with any like cute off the shoulder top and it will look stunning, but it comes with a cute off the shoulder top oh wow that's the wrong way yeah the top is a bit like this really not giving nice things but you know what i mean like that vibe pull it up like this vibe like that's what it's like and then you just wear the skirt with it like that um so that is so adorable i think that's such a like little mykonos piece to be honest with you guys and then i got another matching set this one is in like this gorgeous like i don't even know what we call this like burnt orange what's it called i feel like it's called rose let's see what it's called dusty rose that's it not burnt orange um so yeah dusty rose and then it's got like these buttons down the front a super stretchy long straight leg pants um and then they come with a top which is long sleeve, hold on. So this is the top that it comes with. So this is like a long sleeve. It's got these button details here. It's quite like a deep V. So it is still sexy even though it's long sleeve. And I think it's like nice for like if you're going somewhere quite cold in the evening, but still on a warmer day, it will keep you the right amount of warm to not need a jacket. And then the last item from Pretty Little Thing is this cropped sleeve blazer jacket. It is so cool. It's like... It's almost halfway between a raincoat and a blazer, um, but then the short sleeve just makes it so different and so cool. And I just thought this is the perfect summer evening jacket where you don't want to be too warm, but you don't want to freeze either because it is London at the end of the day where I live and London's weather is unpredictable as hell. So this is perfect for that. And it's called the Cream Woven Short Sleeve Long Line Felted Blazer. So that is everything that I've got. I feel like this vlog has been going on for ages, been like a week now. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed like a week in my life and just seeing the whole week through with me. Thank you so much for staying for the whole video if you have. Whole video gang, love you the mostest. Um, so I'm gonna come back with another video, maybe something other than a vlog. Maybe I'll do like a little lookbook. I kind of want to switch up my style this summer. I have about a thousand pounds worth of clothes in my room i'm not even lying it's appalling from my behalf I'm not gonna lie to you but um some of it was gifted from back brands which is good at least it lowers the burden on me feeling guilty but i just want to switch up my style a bit so yeah maybe that's what i'll film if there's anything else that you want to see let me know in the comments don't forget to check out my socials my instagram is persian bunny my tiktok is persian underscore bunny and my snap is seppi samai i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye